Of course. How fares your search? Well, let's hear it. Forgive me, it is unlike Theos to leave witnesses. He must be furious. He did not aid you as you'd hoped, I take it? Well, take heart. With any luck, when he has finished his business, he will surely come and find you again if only to kill you while you sleep. This news of yours makes sense, of course. To dabble in animancy is to puzzle over the secrets of the gods. This would not be the Leaden Key's first action against it. But if this is connected to their other activities, we may be in for something on a much larger scale. That isn't enough to take to the Duke. But we're close. Avar Wolfgrin is a cautious man. He will want to know everything possible before being moved to action. I had feared they might be involved in Widewind's legacy. It seemed too extreme even for them. How naive I've been. The Leaden Key's conspiracy is clear now. They have used Anguithan technology to engineer Widewind's legacy, and they want people to blame Animancy for it. As we speak, the Duke is holding hearings in the palace. He is listening to arguments for and against Animancy. When they finish, he is expected to decide whether to outlaw it. It seems the Leaden Key has been pushing Deerwood down this path for some time. I, for one, would enjoy seeing their little scheme fouled up at the last moment. Our Duke must hear what you have to say. Unfortunately, the hearings are closed to the public, which makes the Duke inaccessible until they are completed. However, certain groups have been invited to attend. You might get in with one of them if you aren't above a little pandering. There are delegations from the Knights of the Crucible, the Dozens, and from House Dominel. If you can gain the support of one of those groups, that may be your best way in. See what you can arrange. What of them? We would only do that as a last resort. Walking in with one of the three invited groups puts you in a position of influence. Walking in alone as a representative of Dunreed Row would earn you distrust among all the rest. It seems our organization has a reputation for nosiness and manipulation for whatever reason. It would be best if people did not see Dunreed Row's hand in this. Easier for them to embrace the truth. Avar is many things to many people, and that is why he sits the throne. To the frontiersmen, he is one of their own. To the patriotic, he is a sole descendant of Admeth Hadrit. To the nobility, he is from an old and established family. All of these are half-truths or exaggerations, a tale he has spun around himself. The man behind the tale may not be the greatest mind in Deerwood, but he knows people. He knows when they are sincere and when they lie. He knows when they are strong and when they are weak. The other matters he leaves to me. Outwardly, he prefers to come off a bit of a simpleton. Don't be fooled. Before he was a duke, he was a trapper, and an excellent one at that.
on the hunt. Someone's got to keep the blazing crucible knights from leading us all to ruin, and the Dominels certainly aren't doing their part. But Wolfgrin's still a man of the people. He's always been sensible in other matters. He'll hear us out eventually. How fares your search? I've told you everything you need to know. It's only right that you know everything. When I was younger, before Dunreed Row, I had many suitors. These were fine-looking men of good stock. But I could see their thoughts, and they were unimpressive. Boys' thoughts. I toyed with their affections. I resented all of them. And then I met a man whose mind was a mystery to me. But he understood me. He knew me at a glance, told me things I didn't know about myself. He was neither handsome nor charming, but he was all I ever wanted. We made a game of my gift. He would ask me about people, and I would tell him what they were thinking. Sometimes the information was very sensitive. And then one day he asked me if I trusted him. I said I did. Next I knew I was donning a silver mask and swearing oaths to Woodica. 
Using my gift for the leaden key still felt like a game to me, so I did it. I did it because it pleased him. I don't like living in the dark. It's a powerless, hopeless feeling. Every day I did things without knowing their purpose. Every day I loved a man without knowing his thoughts of me. I sensed that there were things he wanted to tell me. I sensed that he knew everything the leaden key was created to hide. But Theos was unyielding. One day I disappeared without a word. He would kill me for it, and I knew that. It's their rule. I just wanted to see him plunge the knife, because then I would know. But the day never came. He has left me to wonder. I have devoted my years to learning everything I could about him, in hopes I would find some clue as to who he really was and why he felt he had to keep his secrets locked away. I have precious little to show for it. Just an old woman nagged by old thoughts. And that is truly everything I can tell you about Theos. I hope you will accept this embarrassing story as a show of my good faith. Yes? What of them? Of all the groups, it is the dozens that the Duke fears most. If you have their ear, you will most certainly have Avars. You need waste no more time here. Get to the palace. Make your case to the Duke. With him on our side, all of Deerwood can be mobilized against the Leaden Key, and Theos can be rooted out. I only wish I could be there to see it. There is a very old bottle of a very good brandy that I have been saving for a special day. If you hurry back afterward, there may be a little left for you. Off with you. You're going to do very well in there.